Oh yeah, you know what time it is. It's time for the culture where we highlight DMV history, traditions, and break down cultural issues that matter. This week, Michael Kwan is giving people who move to the city the tools they need to be a welcome addition to Chocolate City. Look, DC is an amazing city. It's amazing. It's rich with culture, diversity, and vibrancy. So if you're not from the area, look, I completely understand why you would want to live here. But there are some things you need to know about the place you want to call home. Just a few things, but don't worry, I got you covered. I'm going to show you the ropes. Sort of think of them as cliff notes for DC. And I'm doing it for the culture. All right, rule number one, and this should go without saying, don't walk your dog on one of the most prestigious campuses in the world. Howard University is one of the most respected institutions in the country, so treat it as such. I mean, you wouldn't do this over at the University of Maryland, so why would you do it at the real age you? You know? Plus, there is literally a park one block over. And if your name is Joe, and you're at a place where no one knows you, yet you keep hearing your name, don't worry, everyone here is Joe. And if you're 26 and under, just change Joe to Mo, and the rule still applies. When riding Metro, please, <clears throat> Let people off the train first. I mean, come on, y'all, this is simple. Let people off the train before you board. And when riding on the escalators, walk on the left whew, and stand on the right. And lastly, don't ever, ever try to mute Go-Go. The music is sewn into the fabric of our city. It is who we are. From the late, great Chuck Brown to Essence and Backyard, it is the soundtrack of our lives. And no matter how much a demographic change, the city, the music, and the culture will never be muted, period. And there you have it. I mean, I could go on and on, but I think you get the picture. If you follow these simple rules, you'll no longer be looked upon as a gentrifier, but a welcome addition to the greatest city in the world. For WUSA 9 and the Real Chocolate City, I'm Michael Quandra. That's right, the Real Chocolate City. Take that, Atlanta. I would also add to use the word Bama whenever possible. Thank you very much, Michael. If you know somebody or a topic we should feature in our For the Culture segment, hit Michael up on social media or shoot him an email. Also do that if you're lonely. <laughs>